Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy FPKB. I'm today we're gonna come back and we're gonna be reviewing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Mod Split Shredder. Um so as you can see as soon as we load it up, everything looks new to me. As you can see the movement of the game of the player, um double jumping as well, as you can see as he jumble jumps through the window. But um the comment, what's your comments of your the new engine? Um to me it's not new. Um everything looks the same, the way the player moves. Um, the, even the way the gun sways when you're running. I mean, the engine looks new, especially when we get forward to that bit where you actually, you know, got to slide right here after he chucks this grenade and he shows him where people are. And mm. he does this slide over here. This just looks exactly the same to what is on Call of Duty Ghosts, except pro I, I think you can shoot this time while you're still doing that. That's so, a perk, yeah. That's a perk that's been added on. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it, it, do it doesn't look like a new engine. It's just mm. an, some, the same thing, only they've added on extra stuff. Another so, thing I want to talk about is yeah. this this movement here where you can jump and shoot at the same time. Literally, that's going to be annoying. I can imagine people quick scoping me. And look at this, you have a cloak suit that makes you go invisible. As you can see, there's this guy in a juggernaut suit. And the only way you can take him out, as you can see, he's causing a kill streak. I like this new way of calling a kill streak. You open up a little pad, tablet, and this little missile in a circular motion takes him out, which I like that. I mean, look, look, look at the graphics. I mean, it's, it's, it's changed. Obviously, it's the next gen. But yeah, yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> I have to admit that. Um, Call of Duty have this thing where they really try to make things um, like big scale epic stuff. Uh, they don't really care about <laughs> like if it's realistic or not. They just mm -hmm. want to make it big, epic and look good. And I have to respect them because um, I guess people like that. People like just epic, global, you know, big scale kind of things. Um, don't have to be you know ultra realistic because sometimes when you go ultra realistic you lose the fun factor yeah and they've paid attention a lot of attention to the fun factor kept it crisp kept it um, true to the you know ways of Call of Duty like that one bang over there that's one bang nice. shot yeah that's Man. gonna be cheese that's gonna be annoying <laughs> one bang shot pistols so, what's this <laughs> I don't even know what kind of pistol this is I'm not a Call of Duty somebody maybe Charles can tell me where that is no nah, literally I've, um, this everything here is new to me as you can see this is a right shield you can just pull up that's the battery life you have each pulls out another pistol one shot kill, what's the deal? That's gonna be annoying. Yes. Literally, with, with that and the sniper, oh, now you can swim. In Call of Duty Ghost, you won't be able to swim, you will die instantly if you touch the wall, which was cheese. So, yeah, that's pretty much like things that did made me not like Call of Duty is like they were so behind on some, some things like that, for example, like you can't swim. How can you not swim in a game that has been launched in yeah, maybe yeah. 2013? You're a veteran. <laughs> yeah, you were supposed to be, you know, some. A hardcore Call of Duty. Exactly. Some, some really, really good mercenary and you can't swim. You touch the water and you're dead. What kind of cheese is that? Yeah, yeah. So, but now it's a good implement. And now it looks like everything, the movement jumping around like there stuff like that it's gonna be annoying you know trying to shoot someone because you know they'd be jumping out so yeah already in yeah already in call of duty players do move quite fast mm. and um i was just from right a, yeah. look at this scene right here this scene is it's a bit of a show off that's what i'll say yeah yeah, yeah. i mean <laughs> just you know did he hear the footsteps did he turn around or uh, yeah i think he heard the footsteps and it uh, came mm. after him or maybe i don't know maybe it was just something they choreographed or yeah, something yeah, just to show see. that you can do that so um I'm not sure if that's like some live gameplay. It might be, um, but I'm not too sure about that. That punch looks epic. Like I was saying, you know, really? being, yeah, being, being just true to themselves, doing things in a, you know, um, off the meter, making things look cool rather than realistic. Um, I have to respect them for that because people like that. You give the people what they want, not what you think they want. So. Um, yeah, that's Call of Duty for you. Yeah. But me, I'm, I, I guess I'm the misfits. I'm not really, I'm not all the way impressed. I mean, sure, there's some new stuff on it, on, on it, but I'm not all the way impressed. But I have to reserve my judgment till I actually play the game. All right, all right. So you can see here, this is a new turret gun that's been called in. It's a kill streak. Um, it looks pretty dope as well. Um, another thing that I'm excited for is there's two different bundles that came out. There's the normal bundle. Which you know, you get you if you pre order it, you get a 24 hour um, early access, or you can order another bundle which comes with you know extra stuff, extra loot, which is the new like prestige of weapons as well. So, yeah, literally about the loot, um, I'm just about to show you how the loot works. So, every time else, you can get the loot randomly by you know, um, either completing challenges or you know, a certain amount of hours played with prestige. So, this is a supply drop, literally, you get three different things, as you can see there. Um, it's um, a helmet, you know, to customize. Another thing, apparently, there's so many different customizations. I mean, you know, it's nothing new, but you know, it looks like, including the exoskeleton suit, as you can see, that's a new jump that lets you jump, you know, move faster. 
also that's the launch date for the game so literally we can't wait well i can't wait and they come out you know, I'm just I'm just <laughs> there, just you know, if it comes yeah. out, it comes out. If yeah. it doesn't, fine. <laughs> That's the 24 hour um, Day Zero early access to be I reckon it's mainly going to be try hard people, you know, trying to, you know, reach master level as fast as possible. But I'll see you guys November the 4th.